Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. So, yeah, today I'm finally going to start packing. Yeah, something I probably should have been doing long before now, considering that next week I need to have a load of stuff ready to take to Mankato. Oh well. But uh, I'm going to start on that uh, small bookshelf back there, uh, see what of that I can get packed up. When uh, my PCA Matt shows up, uh, we're going to, after he does the dishes, we're going to start packing up some of my uh, dishes that I don't use. So, other than that, we'll see. So, Matt's been here and gone, and I've got some packing done. Uh, I actually have two other boxes of stuff uh, that I got packed, um, but they're all glasses and stuff, so nothing, oh, excuse me, really all that temperature sensitive, so I just had Matt carry him down to my car now, and they can just sit out there until I leave next week for Mankato and I took down uh, my stuff to Liz for um, brain fart crap the garage sale don't you hate it when your brain just does that just and you can't think happens to me a lot shocking right and, of course, I forgot to take something down. <laughs> yeah, I just made myself flinch. One of the most important things <clears throat> excuse me, that you have to learn when you have a disability is how to listen and interpret what your body is telling you. And stupidly, I was ignoring my body. I was getting dizzy and lightheaded and it was not the same kind of low blood sugar feeling. And I know what that means. I was getting a really wicked headache and I just ignored it and I just about passed out. I was getting overheated, so I actually had to turn my air conditioner on. So, yeah, that was kind of dumb. I didn't want to turn my air on yet because I'm trying to save money, and air conditioners suck up a lot of juice. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, you know, if I if I passed out, I could have fallen out of my chair and hurt myself, or God knows what could have happened. That's why you gotta listen to what your body's telling you. You gotta know your limits and know what you can and can't do. And I've always been one that my body can take the cold really well. I could go outside when it's, you know, 10 below in jeans and a t-shirt and I'd be okay for a while, but when it gets hot and humid out, my body does not function properly and I just push it a little bit too hard today with all the heavy lifting that I've been doing. And as you can see, my shelf there is getting empty. I've been, I've got a lot done today. I've put a lot of physical exertion on my body and the heat just took a toll. And that was very dumb on my part. 
Now I'm just chilling. I just gotta share something right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I I just finished watching uh, the last episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Um, I have the whole series on DVD, um, and it was given to me uh, by my friend uh, Amanda that passed away. Um, two, it'll be two years this October. Um, with all the packing that I've been doing today, I I just, I hadn't finished watching them all yet, and I just, I, it hit me that I had to finish, and I'd been procrastinating finishing for a while, because I'd been on the last season for six, seven months, and I just haven't finished it, and it just seemed like... <clears throat> If I didn't finish it here, it just wouldn't be right. I met her living here. The entire time that I've known her, I've lived here. And it's very sad. I'm, I'm very sad right now because she was somebody very special to me. She was one of my very best friends and for the better part of a year we hung out every day and there's a very special funny story behind uh, this box set of Star Trek the Next Generation <clears throat> she had bought uh, the box set uh, for her boyfriend at the time uh, for his birthday and then she died you know, shortly after she had ordered it and I was one of the few people that knew about it that she had ordered it for him he's, he's a big trackie like me and in talking with him I told him and when he went over to her apartment he said that's that's my birthday present that's mine and then uh, what's really odd is a few weeks after she died a second box set showed up at her apartment and nobody can figure out where it came from. There, there was no uh, credit card receipt for credit card charge for a second box set just for the one. And this one showed up. And of all of Amanda's family and all of her other friends, guy was the only one other person that was really into Star Trek and so they gave it to me um, I think in a way I've been I've been procrastinating finishing the series because that kind of would symbolize having to let her go and I wasn't ready for that but it just seemed appropriate that I had to finish it here and now it's done and I think I'm going to start to cry here but uh, I think I'll end things now 
and say good night. See you tomorrow. Keep adventures, making our way one push at a time.